Hey everyone, welcome back to your 28th native script video. And in this video, we're gonna, you know, mark this video as a start off for our little e commerce application for native script, which you guys voted for, right? As the application you would like to see here on YouTube. I would be creating the other two applications as well in another course, which will be released soon. So for this demonstration at the moment, what we want is create a new project. Let's just go ahead and close our, um, this project right here. Uh, let me just zoom in right here so that we are able to see. And I'm just gonna go back and this time we're gonna ditch JavaScript for TypeScript. Now, again, I'm keeping this project only on vanilla JS. We can use, go ahead and use frameworks like Angular and Vue, but I'm gonna keep it to TypeScript and JavaScript only at the moment, just because if you're able to do it in TypeScript and JavaScript, Angular and Vue are just, you know, just a little bit of abstractions over these things. So you would be able to do the similar thing in these frameworks as well. And plus it's it's super easy to do it um, even in vanilla JavaScript, thanks to native script core APIs. So let's just go ahead and create a TypeScript project. You might be familiar with TypeScript. If you're not, um, it's pretty much similar to JavaScript. You can say TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript with typed definitions. And don't worry, you would be able to, um, at least I hope so, you would be comfortable with TypeScript. Don't worry about that. If you need more information, I do have a TypeScript playlist. Link is in the description. Check it out for a quick refresh. But let's just continue and go ahead and create a project by saying TNS create. And then I'm just gonna say this is e-commerce. I'm gonna pretty much, yeah, hit enter. We could also specify the template right away, but if you don't, it would ask you. Now, we could use Angular or Vue, but I'm gonna go with TypeScript at the moment because uh, we want to understand the core framework, you know. Now, okay, let's just choose hello world only. So it would create a TypeScript template for our application, which would just pretty much do a hello world for us. Now you're gonna see that we get our e-commerce project was successfully created. So let's just go ahead into it and see how it looks like. So now, let me just bring my text editor right here. So now if we take a look at this, what we're gonna see is it's pretty much similar to what we have earlier in terms of file structure. The only difference being now we have .ts files instead of JS. And we are also using the ES6 import syntax and export syntax instead of our um, common JS syntax, right? Plus we also have types and all that great stuff. IntelliSense, all that good stuff from TypeScript. Otherwise, the XML part is same. You know, we have that model view stuff similar. We have our frame similar, all that stuff we know, right? So yeah, I think that is pretty much it. We could just go ahead and close this one right here and make it fit with this one. Go ahead and do a TNS run iOS device of iPhone 10, which would start our application on this iPhone simulator right here. And once it's started, we could proceed forward for creating our first useful application on TypeScript. So yeah, you're gonna get your Hello World application again. So I think that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then in the next one where we're gonna start off with our e-commerce application.